You've heard of the big one, the earthquake that will shake the very foundation of California. Well, what if I told you there's an even greater threat lurking in the heart of America? A monster of unimaginable power, capable of reducing cities to ashes and plunging the world into chaos. No, this isn't the plot of a Hollywood disaster movie. It's the potential reality of an eruption from the Yellowstone supervolcano. This geological time bomb has remained mostly quiet for more than 70,000 years, but its silence may soon be shattered by a massive eruption. So what would happen if Yellowstone suddenly blew up tomorrow? Let's find out. Recently on April 3rd, 2024, Yellowstone's steamboat geyser made headlines with its second major geyser eruption of the year. But that's not all. The month of April also saw over 150 recorded earthquakes, drawing attention to the very real possibility of a catastrophic supervolcano eruption. If Yellowstone were to blow, the consequences would be devastating. Considering its rare eruption history, only three events in the past two million years. The recent uptick in volcanic activity has understandably sparked concerns about the possibility of another Yellowstone eruption in the near future, potentially even within the next few years. Keep watching as we explore the likelihood of a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption, provide an update on the current situation, and explore the potential fallout if it were to happen. But before we dive in, let's set the stage with some important context. Volcanic eruptions are fueled by magma, a mixture of molten and semi-molten rock that accumulates in underground chambers. Over time, these chambers fill with magma and gas, which rises from the Earth's mantle and pushes against the lower crust. When the pressure becomes too great, the chamber fractures, opening up cracks and fissures in the ground. Through these openings, volcanic material bursts forth as lava or solid fragments called pyroclasts, creating the explosive display we know as a volcanic eruption. If the eruption is powerful enough, it can expel so much material that the chamber becomes unstable, causing the walls to collapse inward and form a depression known as a caldera. This temporary seal allows magma and gas to accumulate once more, setting the stage for the next eruption. Volcanic eruptions vary greatly in size and intensity, from small-scale events to massive explosions. To quantify these natural disasters, we use the Volcanic Explosivity Index VEI, a scale that ranges from 1 to 8. Each number on the scale represents a volume of ejected volcanic material, increasing in magnitudes of 10. For example, a level 5 eruption might expel around 1 cubic kilometer of material, similar to the famous eruption of Mount Vesuvius, which buried the ancient city of Pompeii. Level 6 eruptions are 10 times more powerful while level 7 eruptions are 100 times more potent. While many eruptions are devastating, they don't quite reach the level of super eruptions, the most catastrophic events on the VEI. These rare and destructive natural disasters can occur when magma builds up over thousands of years before erupting, ejecting over 1,000 cubic kilometers of material and impacting the entire planet. The most recent super eruption occurred at New Zealand's Taupo volcano, around 26,500 years ago, producing over 1,100 cubic kilometers of material and reshaping the surrounding landscape. The resulting caldera formed a large crater lake now known as Lake Taupo. Along with the Taupo volcano, the Yellowstone supervolcano, also known as the Yellowstone caldera, is one of the rare volcanoes capable of unleashing a super eruption. This is largely due to its vast underground magma system, which spans most of Yellowstone National Park and has been active for an astonishing 2.1 million years. During this period, Yellowstone has experienced three catastrophic super eruptions, with the most recent one, the Lava Creek Tuff eruption, shaping the caldera as we know it today. This massive event occurred around 630,000 years ago leaving many to wonder if the Yellowstone caldera is due for another explosive event. While it's impossible to predict exactly what would happen if this supervolcano were to erupt again, one thing is certain, the consequences would be catastrophic. But before we dive into the details of Yellowstone's volcanic history, current state and forecasts about the looming eruption, let's take a closer look at Yellowstone Park's overall landscape. 
Yellowstone National Park is an iconic American destination, boasting a vast playground of natural wonders that span across Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. While most of the park lies within Wyoming's borders, its beauty extends into neighboring states, treating visitors to a diverse array of natural splendors. At the heart of Yellowstone lies one of the world's largest calderas, a volcanic basin featuring over 10,000 thermal wonders. Among these, the park showcases a breathtaking spectacle of hundreds of geysers, shooting water up to 100 feet high into the sky. Yellowstone is also a wildlife enthusiast paradise, home to an impressive array of creatures, both big and small. Bird watchers can delight in observing around 300 different bird species, while anglers can try their luck with the park's 16 types of fish. Wildlife enthusiasts can encounter 67 mammal species, including majestic grizzly bears, elusive wolves, graceful moose, and magnificent elk. One of the park's most notable inhabitants is its bison herd, which has made a remarkable recovery from the brink of extinction to now standing at nearly 4,700. These majestic creatures have roamed the park since prehistoric times, making them the only bison herds in the United States with such a long-standing presence. Occasionally, they even cause traffic delays as they make their way across the park's roads. Yellowstone's climate is as captivating as its landscapes, with unique seasonal transformations. Summer days are warm and sunny, with temperatures reaching 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 27 degrees Celsius in July at lower elevations. However, as night falls, the temperature cools down to around 45 degrees Fahrenheit or 7 degrees Celsius. In contrast, winter brings a chilly silence with temperatures rarely climbing above the mid-20 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 4 degrees Celsius, and often dropping to freezing levels or lower. The park transforms into a winter wonderland with snow-covered landscapes and a serene atmosphere. The contrasting climates of Yellowstone offer visitors a diverse and ever-changing experience throughout the year. One of the park's crown jewels is Yellowstone Lake, the largest high-elevation lake in North America situated at an elevation of about 7,732 feet or 2,357 meters, spanning approximately 136 square miles or 352 square kilometers. The lake offers breathtaking views and serene surroundings. Yellowstone National Park is a paradox of enhancing beauty and catastrophic threat, where the serene landscape conceals a ticking time bomb of devastating proportions. Hang on a sec, guys, before we continue. Be sure to join the Insane Curiosity channel. Click on the bell, you'll help us to make products of even higher quality. Now, let's move from Yellowstone's beauties to its more terrifying side. What is the scale of this much-talked-about eruption? It's hard to accurately predict the exact consequences of a supervolcano eruption. However, it's unlikely to occur without warning signs. Days, weeks, or even years before the event, satellites may detect ground deformations as the magma chamber fills and bulges. Seismographs would capture increasingly powerful earthquakes that open cracks and fissures. In some areas, steam or hot volcanic gas may leak from the ground, foreshadowing a greater disaster. If the pressure under the crust becomes too great, a series of climactic explosions could eject an extraordinary volume of volcanic material. A column of superheated pyroclasts could erupt from the ground, reaching the stratosphere. Large fragments of pyroclastic rock would rapidly cool and fall back to Earth as dangerous volcanic bombs. The eruption would also produce a massive cloud of ash and volcanic gas, spreading over 1,500 kilometers and shrouding the area in darkness. Volcanic material could be carried as far as the Pacific coast or the eastern seaboard, depending on the wind direction. Hot ash could fall from the sky, disrupting communications and compromising airborne planes. The impact on the environment and human populations would be devastating. Thousands of acres of farmland could be decimated, and respiratory illnesses could affect humans and animals alike. A caldera forming eruption at Yellowstone could make large parts of the United States dangerous or uninhabitable. Pyroclastic flows, which are among the deadliest and most destructive volcanic hazards, could spew from the blast site and race along the surface at speeds over 100 km per hour. These flows could annihilate entire towns, forests, and farms, leaving behind scorched, burned, or flattened landscapes. 
The energy released by such an eruption would be immense, equivalent to dozens of times the strongest nuclear weapons ever created. The blasts would be audible from thousands of kilometers away, accompanied by pressure waves that could radiate around the globe, causing worldwide fluctuations in atmospheric pressure and extreme weather patterns. Predicting the immediate death toll of such a rare and powerful disaster is extremely challenging. Hey guys, we did a video about the potential impact of the Cascadia Megaquake. Be sure to check it out. What are our best predictions of the impact of the eruption? Scientists have been making rough estimates about the devastating impact of a Yellowstone super eruption for years. The numbers are staggering. Tens or even hundreds of thousands of people could lose their lives on the first day alone. The eruption would unleash a deadly combination of fast-moving pyroclastic flows, crushing debris and suffocating ash clouds that would engulf cities and suburbs. The exact toll of this disaster is impossible to predict. But one thing is certain, a super eruption at Yellowstone would be one of the deadliest events in modern history. The catastrophe would have far-reaching consequences, affecting not only human lives, but also the planet's climate and ecosystem. When volcanoes erupt, they release a cocktail of gases, including sulfur dioxide, which reacts with water to create an aerosol that reflects sunlight back into space. This can trigger a sudden cooling effect, dropping temperatures and altering the global climate for years to come. History has shown us the devastating impact of massive volcanic eruptions. The 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora in Indonesia, for example, had a profound effect on the global climate, earning 1816 the name The Year Without Summer. While the Mount Tambora eruption was catastrophic, it pales in comparison to the potential destruction of a super eruption, which could plunge the world into a prolonged period of global cooling known as a volcanic winter consequences of such an event would be catastrophic. Food chains could collapse, vulnerable species could face extinction, and humanity would struggle to survive amidst widespread famine and disease. One alarming prediction suggests that Yellowstone super eruption could have a devastating impact on three quarters of the United States. Within a thousand kilometer radius of the blast, an estimated 90% of the population could lose their lives. The sheer amount of ash expelled during the eruption would be staggering, blanketing large parts of North America in a thick layer of debris. The eruption would also release enormous quantities of volcanic gases and aerosols into the atmosphere, having a profound impact on the global climate. The stratospheric aerosol layer, composed of sulfur dioxide and other gases, would deflect sunlight, leading to a cooling effect on the Earth's surface. Some analysts predict that a Yellowstone super eruption could result in a dramatic annual temperature drop of up to 12 degrees Celsius. This volcanic winter would disrupt weather patterns, reduce agricultural yields, and potentially lead to food scarcity in various parts of the world. Given the region's geological activity, the threat of an earthquake or volcanic eruption is a pressing concern. To address this, authorities are taking every precaution to understand monitor and mitigate the potential risks. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory and its partners have recently unveiled a new monitoring plan for volcanoes and earthquakes. This plan aims to enhance regional monitoring and better assess hazards. Strategically positioned seismometers, GPS stations, and other tools throughout the park provide real-time data on geological activity beneath the surface. Some volcanologists predict that Yellowstone Caldera is due for an eruption but soon in geological terms could mean any time within the next 100,000 years. Currently, there are no signs of an impending super eruption, and even if warning signs were detected, they might indicate a relatively common hydrothermal episode rather than a global catastrophe. Yellowstone National Park is home to one of the most extensive hydrothermal systems in the world, which experiences large hydrothermal explosions every few hundred years. While these events can be deadly and destructive, they hopefully pose a threat only to the surrounding region, not the country or the world at large. The possibility of a Yellowstone super eruption is a terrifying prospect, with the potential to be the largest volcanic event in recorded history, impacting the planet on a global scale. However, the likelihood of such an event occurring in our lifetime is low, hopefully. 
In your opinion, which region do you think is most vulnerable to a devastating volcanic eruption? Feel free to leave your answers in the comments below. If you liked the video, then you should check out the one on your screen. These are the 8 most possible dangerous volcanic eruptions of 2024. Thanks for watching.